Hi, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning everyone. So for today's session, uh, since that you have done uh, quite a lot of work in your self-learning uh, session that we have in the last two weeks, uh, you are going to uh, present to me the product of your discussions and also the answers for your, uh, for your assignments so that it's easier for us to rectify anything that's unclear. Okay. Right, so to begin with, I think uh, we can start with um, Rinita. Hi, Rinita. Hi, teacher. Hi, uh, if you could just turn on your camera, if that's, if it's your if your line is stable enough, that would be great. Thank you. All right, so you may share your um, screen now so that we can start the presentation. Teacher, I'm, I'm quite not clear when I uh, my line is this problem. Oh yeah, sure. But uh, can you share the slides now? Okay, there's some, I'm not sure what's going on on her end. Um, I think, Edina, can you step in instead and then start presenting? Uh, uh, yes, I can, too. Okay. Um, but I can uh, share my uh, camera, so I'll just share my slide instead. Yeah, sure. Okay. Can all see your slides? Okay. Uh, so good morning, everyone. So today my group is going to review the Perak trial paper. So first, we'll be uh, reviewing the uh, some of the, uh, the objects objective question. Um, teacher, do I need to read the article? Uh, no. I uh, just give us a summary what yes. the article is about. Um, so, uh, we have reviewed this uh, article, which is the, the one that teacher have already shown us, uh, which is um, the journey of a group, um, uh, their journey to um, in Nepal, <laughs> in, uh, where is it? Oh, uh, uh, so next week, uh, we will continue with the question. Um, uh, question 19 and uh, teacher I'll just read the whole question uh, you read and the how whole question it, and how you found the answer uh, and then okay. once you have um, told me how did you find the answer I will tell you whether it's a correct answer or not okay, uh, okay. Um, so uh, the first question is in paragraph 2 why does the writer use the phrase it felt like a it felt the higher up we tried, the more detached we were from the pandemic. So we uh we um, chose Edina, can you enlarge your um yeah so because it's quite it's quite small. Oh hold on. Um, okay. Okay. Is it okay? Uh yeah, much better. Okay. Um, so for this question, 
our group to see, they were more concerned about attitude sickness, hypothermia, and exo and exhaustion. Uh, exhaustion. We can find this exhaustion. Exhaustion. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, we can find this answer uh, because the question already asked in paragraph two. Um, we to the sentence that describes the answer is. Our worries at Earth's highest point were altitude sickness, hypothermia, and exhaustion rather than coronavirus. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so, so, okay. Um, wait. Uh, the answer is correct. It's actually C. It's quite clear, right? For number nineteen. Okay, you can okay. continue. So, uh, question twenty in paragraph in paragraph three. How did the writer describe the track down the mountain? So um, we choose um, answer B. The writer and his friends had very little energy left. So in the question, it already uh, told us uh, the answer is in paragraph three. <coughs> um, the sentence that showed uh, the answer is how uh, starting with this sentence, which is, however, after tracking for only 15 kilometers, we hardly had any energy left. So this sentence um, described to us uh, uh, the trackers' journey to uh, when they are trekking down the mountain. <coughs> okay, so your answer is? Mm, B. Okay, correct. Okay, B is correct. Good job. All right, you can move on to the next one. And question 21. In paragraph 4, what initially prevented the writer and his friends from going home so we choose the answer Dia written RC, which is Dia written flight to Malaysia had been cancelled due to MCO. So the question already uh, told us uh, the answer is in paragraph four. Um, the sentence which show the answer is, while on the track back, we received news that our written flight to Malaysia had been cancelled. This was, this was because the movement control order had begun. <coughs> so... The answer is C. Okay, very uh, good. The answer is C. Correct. Uh, the next question is, in paragraph 5, why, did, why didn't the writer and his friends complain even though they had to pay for basic necessities? We choose the answer D. They knew the resources in the area were limited. So we can see that the answer is in paragraph 5. Mm -hmm. um, the... Uh, the sentence which showed the answer is, we did not complain as we realized they were they were very limited in the area. Uh, this sentence, <coughs> there in this sentence is referred to the basic necessity necessities that uh, the group had to pay um, in the area. <coughs> that is correct. Okay, that's question twenty two, right? Yes. All right. Um, so. So uh, next we con will continue with question 23. In paragraph uh, in paragraph 6, why did the writer and his friends air out their dirty clothes and use them? The, we choose the answer D. The only fireplace was only turned at 6 p.m. Your answer is, sorry? D. We choose D. D. Eh? Okay, let me see the... Uh, the question. The question states here. Um, okay, twenty three is okay. In paragraph six, why did the writer and his friends um, air out their dirty clothes and reuse them? Okay. Um, okay. Let's look at paragraph six. Okay, paragraph six. Okay. Uh, the lodge. Okay, the lodge um, we were staying at was cold. What's more, the fireplace it had was only turned on after 6 p.m. Since it was so cold and the water was freezing, it really wasn't possible for us to shower or wash our clothes. We could only air out our dirty clothes and reuse them. Okay, right. So let's look at uh, your answer. Let's look at the answers. Hmm. Okay. Um, Yes, the answer is actually B. B. Okay, because it's mentioned there. Okay, um, 
since it was so cold and water was freezing, it really wasn't possible for us to wash uh, or to wash our clothes or shower. So it's definitely about uh, the water was too cold to wash clothes. Again, because the question asks you about dirty clothes and uh, reusing them. Okay, so when we talk, uh, because the question specifically talk about clothes, so um, your answer for D, uh, it could mean for other things. For fireplace, it could only it could also mean your for your general heat. You know, when you are cold, that you need heat, and also it's about uh, clothes as well. So when uh, you're answering questions like this, please be very careful because um, this is definitely a trick question. Um, they give you very something something very specific, and they would expect you to answer based on the question that's been given to you. Although it's quite close, but the answer is actually B. Okay, Yudina? Uh, okay, teacher. Okay, so the answer is B. You can move on to the next question. Uh, so, uh, question 24. From the question 19 to question 23, uh, the question already told us, uh, told us where, did, uh, where did we could find the answer um, because there is already mentioned the paragraph. So starting from question 24, they did not give us uh, any paragraph, which is we, we should find our answer by ourselves, by reading the um, article. Exactly. So the, quest, uh, the question is, what good, uh, what good news did the writer and his friend receive on March 26? Uh, and so for this question, we, uh, we should uh, search the answer by searching the date of uh, March 26. Mm -hmm. So um, when I read the paragraph, um, uh, the answer that we could find is in paragraph 7, uh, which is the sentence, on March 26, the Lukla munis uh, municipality announced that they will be covering all lodging and food expenses. So we, uh, the answer that we choose is D. Okay, that is a correct answer. Good job. Uh, question 25. How did the writer and his friends feel after waiting for more than six hours to get a plane? Uh, we choose the uh, answer D. They would, they no longer felt helpful. Uh, this answer can be found in the article um, in paragraph 9, which is in the sentence, after waiting for six hours, my friends and I were beginning to lose hope. So the uh, answer is D. E for question 25. Okay, that is correct as well. Uh, the last one is, what was the purpose of the writer writing this article? Um, so we choose the answer A, to show the valuable lesson he learned during the difficult time. Um, uh, the answer is, sorry? A, we choose A. Mm -hmm, 26, eh? okay, let's look at your okay. 26. Um, 26, 26, okay, let's see. Right, 26 questions ask you, um, what was the purpose of the writer writing this article? When we say purpose, what is it that the question expects you to do? Is it main idea or specific detail? Main idea. Very good. Okay, so it's the normally when you say purpose, it's actually the main idea. Okay, so let's look at the choices of the answers here. Okay, one, uh, A, to show the valuable lessons he learned during difficult time. Uh, B, to reminisce the interesting trip he had with his friends. And C, to inform others about the lockdown rules in Nepal. And D, to share his hike up Mount Everest with his friends. Okay, so let's look at uh, the, the text in general, okay? So the text talks about, the first uh, paragraph talks about uh, the adventurous trek to Everest Base Camp in Lukla in Nepal. And then paragraph two talked about uh, how it was, how the climb was bigger than the pandemic, okay? Um, paragraph three talks about, um, okay, uh, how they, how they actually managed to uh, reach the Everest uh, Base Camp, okay? Uh, five people in our group were evacuated. Okay. Uh, paragraph four, they talk about uh, receiving news that return flight to Malaysia had been cancelled. It was because of MCO. Paragraph five talked about um, lockdown in Nepal. Okay. 
uh, paragraph six talks about the lodge. Uh, paragraph seven, uh, the meals, and eight, uh, and able to secure a flight on the first day due to bad weather. Paragraph nine, waiting for six hours. Uh, my friends were beginning to lose hope. And paragraph ten, um, lessons. Okay, so now let's look at the answers. A is talking about variable lessons. B to reminisce. What does reminisce means? Uh, you did not to um throwback <laughs> yeah it's it's a bit like that lah, to um to think about the past lah, okay mm -hmm. to reminisce the interesting trip okay number c to inform uh, others about the lockdown rules in nepal okay so a if you can see a is actually focusing on towards the end of the text meaning that it's not exactly the main idea of the text it's not exactly the purpose of the text okay because uh, it's just a mere mention right at the end of the text, okay? Let's look at B, to reminisce the interesting trip he had with his friends, okay? Um, right, so uh, B, reminisce the interesting trip. Um, reminisce here, if you can look at the verb, reminisce, as you mentioned, is uh, perhaps having a recollection or talking about the past, talking about the past experience, okay? So in this case, um, they're not exactly just uh, telling the story just for the sake of remembering. So reminisce is more of like remembering and appreciating, which is not the case in the text. The text is quite informative uh, as a matter of fact. Okay. As for C, to inform others about the lockdown rules in Nepal. Well, they talk about like lockdown in Nepal in merely in one or two paragraphs, how it was quite different from what we have in Malaysia. The last one to share his hike up Mount Everest with his friends. So it's actually, the answer is actually D. D is what encompassing all the things that's mentioned in the text. Okay, Dina? Uh, yes, too. thank you, Tisha. Right. Okay, so if you're ready, you can perhaps move on to the essay. So I just um, show the question and the main idea to uh, how to write the answer, Tisha. For the um, okay, I think for this one, um, we are going to do this together, but I might have to share my screen. Um, one second, let me just okay, Let's see. Yeah, I'll just share my entire screen because there are so many tabs. Okay. okay, let's look at this one. Okay, um, okay, let's look at your paper two. Okay, so paper two, you answer the first part, uh, which is you receive an email from your new friend, Amin, who had just moved to your neighborhood. Okay. Okay. Uh, hi, tomorrow is a public holiday. Let's play a spot with our neighbors. Okay. So it's mentioned here. Let's play a spot. Okay. And what shall we play? And where shall we go to play? What should we bring? So there are three things that you need to do okay uh what shall we play the spot itself where and what should we bring the items that you're supposed to bring to play the spots now okay i'm looking forward to your reply and bye okay let's look at your essay okay let's see if i can get this in a bigger okay Okay, let's look at this one. Okay, I'm thrilled about the holidays and the idea of playing sports with our neighbors excites me more than ever. Okay, this is quite a good uh, expression. Okay. Okay, this is a good expression. Okay, excites me more than ever. It really shows how, um, I mean, it really shows how um, how excited you are to uh, play with your friend. Okay, right. 
Okay, let's move on. Uh, it's been quite <coughs> it's been quite some time since we last hung out together. I suggest we play football. Okay, football is this one is uh football is what here, Irina. Hmm, football. In this case, football. Which one is it? What, where, or another what? Uh, you um. Uh, <laughs> okay, there are three items that are, that are expected of you to answer here. What shall we play? Where shall we go? And what should we bring? So, football here, which uh, it falls under which category? Oh, what shall we play? What shall we play? Okay, the game itself. Okay, so uh, since it has been our favorite spot more than uh, seven years, we can play at the park, which is a where. Okay. Okay, you can play at the park. This is where? Right in front of the ice cream parlor. Okay, this is another, another good, another good uh, vocabulary, okay, for this question. Okay, I recommend we bring our boots to avoid any injuries. Um, okay, at our toes is uh, quite redundant. You can just say at any injuries, okay? To avoid any injuries. Okay, I also recommend we bring our water bottles to ensure we stay hydrated throughout the game. Okay, so right. So this uh for this kind of essay, this is an easy twenty lah because you know why. The first thing first um. The first thing that uh it's there. I mean, the, all the three items as expected of you are there. Okay, uh, which means that what game. Where should you play it? And also, what should you bring? So, you mentioned that you need to bring boots to avoid any injuries. And also, uh, you did uh, mention, you did uh, have this uh, simple explanation. Okay, so this means that you still remember what I uh, reminded you before this. Um, for part one, you need to have a simple explanation, not a very lengthy explanation, but a simple explanation. And you can find the explanation here okay we can play at the park right in the front of ice cream parlor okay so this is something that um i think could lend you uh 20 over 20. all right okay um irina anything that uh you might want to add for this one i think for the part one no teacher no, not yet. Okay. Because the question um is quite open quite, and we can do. <laughs> quite straightforward, lah, okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, for part two, I think I need you to explain, uh, what is it that you wrote so that I can get a good context and perhaps feedback you better for this one. Okay, Rina, if you can just um, if you can just tell us what did you write for this one for part two, what your group root for this one for part two um so the question for part two is wait, eh? uh, the question is uh it as as uh, the environmental club members have been discussing how they could raise funds for endangered animals in malaysia during the extracurricular activities in school your teacher advisor has asked you to write an essay about what the club could do. So the question asks us to uh, write an essay about how uh, we could raise fund, funds for endangered animals in Malaysia. So in this essay, we should write about what activities uh, we would like to do, reasons for our choices, and how we are going to carry out the fundraising project. So... Um, we wrote about uh, four paragraphs. For uh, for the first paragraph, uh, teacher, you share the. Uh, uh, um, for the first paragraph, we mainly told, um, uh, describe uh, what does uh a danger, um, animals. Uh, definition and how uh, environmental club uh, helps to raise fund for it. So uh, the second paragraph, uh, we talk about how how uh, 
what is our ideas to carry out the project which is the first idea is to uh, to have a charity auction um uh, we also uh, write about how the students could um carry this project by uh, for uh, for example for example students can put up their old books clothes or sports equipment which are still in good condition and also would also present the op the opportunity to students to be involved in a real auction as a first time experience, experience which would help them in bigger auction events in the future uh, the next paragraph we write about how uh, we write about we would prepare a donation boxes which is quite clear because uh, the question asks us to raise funds for the project um uh this this idea would carry out by placing the donation box at few locations around the school to attract the students to donate when they catch the site of the do uh when they catch the site of the donation box not only that the club will also propose an online donation uh, so in this uh, project we would like to uh, carry out <coughs> two type of donation which is in the school and also um, online donation because uh, we can see that uh, doing an online donation can reach out to many people not only in school but also to outsiders and for the last paragraph uh, we told um, uh, uh, we told our hopes to for our project and uh, in order it to be successful successful uh, and that's all for part two question okay all right thank you Elena, for the explanation so that it's clear for me to uh give you feedback on that so um so to sum up uh, basically you need to talk about the three things that's mentioned there okay uh just a quick um reminder for part two make sure that you address all the points that are stated there doesn't matter um you know how long it's going to be I mean I mean ideally you could write in 125 to 150 words but you can go longer but not too long so you you need to address all the points given and in, in this case the essay is about uh, what activities you would like to do the activities how they could raise funds how what kind of activities that could help you to raise funds and then the reasons and how meaning there are three things that you need to address okay let's look at the Let's look at the essay in uh in uh up close and personal. Okay. All right, so this is the essay. I hope it's clear enough for everyone to see. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, our country, Malaysia is rich with exotic flora and fauna species. Okay, uh, exotic. There are many species such as the orangutans, the Malayan tiger, and Sumatran rhinoceros. Unfortunately, due to various mankind activities, a large number of these animals are facing the risk of extinction. For example, uh, animal trafficking, deforestation, urban and suburban development projects that encroach. Okay, this is a good, uh, this is a good, vocabulary okay encroach means um uh, it's engulfing it's a lot and it's overwhelming so it destroys the natural habitats of the animals okay in order to save this endangered species um the environmental club would like to have a few activities to raise much needed funds for the endangered animals okay such good sentence okay that's a good sentence the first idea that we suggest is to have a charity option to raise funds okay the auction would give the chance to students to put up anything that they do not need or want anymore mm, okay to uh put up uh this one is not quite accurate okay uh instead of saying put up uh you just uh use the word put okay put up means that you are um, you're basically tolerating okay that's a different meaning altogether okay you can just write put they can put anything that they do not need or want anymore okay uh for sale right and then for example students can put 
can put their old books, clothes, or sports equipment, which which are still in good condition. And auction would also present the opportunity to students to involve to be involved in a real auction as a first-time experience, which would help them in bigger auction events in the future. Okay. Next, we would like to prepare donation boxes for the students and teachers to donate money to raise funds for the endangered animals. Okay, the donation boxes will be placed at a few locations around the school to attract the students to donate when they catch the set of donation box. Okay, not only that, the club also would like to propose an online donation platform to raise awareness among parents. This way, parents can even uh, and even anyone can transfer any sum of money to the school account to raise funds for the endangered animals. The more people donate, the higher the funds that could be raised. To wrap up, we all we hope all our efforts to will not uh, will not okay will not be a waste and would play a vital role in our attempt to save these endangered animals. We also hope that the students, parents and teachers are able to lend a helping hand to bring success in helping these endangered animals. Okay, so let's see how many paragraphs all together. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, there are four paragraphs, okay. Although I would say that... Um, you know, try to break them up into five paragraphs if possible. Okay. Okay, so um, it's not much of a problem when it comes to your essay because it's a teamwork. So everyone is quite, uh, the proofreading is quite airtight. Um, so the content is all there, five. CA, um, CA is quite good. CA is five as well. Um, organization is also good. Um, and language is a four. Okay, so total will be 19 over 20. Okay, okay, Edina? Uh, yes, dear. thank you, teacher. All right, so, so now I think you can uh, start. Okay, uh, I think you can start. Um, you can start on the part three, okay? Okay, you are going to write uh, e-books. Okay, you're talking about e-books. Okay, did I talk about... Uh, I'm not sure we have time for you explaining your essay. Is it okay if I just go through your uh, the essay uh, no, now? Yes, yeah? yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. So let me just get this done. Okay, I'm just going to uh, feedback here. Okay, now, um, nowadays with the rise of digital technology, physically printed books are slowly being replaced by e-books. Publishers are able to release their work in digital format and they can easily be asked. Okay, let's look at the question, sorry. Um, you read this a statement in your school computer lab, e-books are much better than printed books and will eventually replace them. It is the screen. It's, oh. it's a different screen. Eh? Wait one second. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, the question is uh, ebooks are much better than printed books and it will eventually replace them. Okay, so ebooks are ebooks much better than printed books and will eventually replace them. What are advantages of ebooks? Why do people still prefer printed books? And do you think ebooks will be the main form of reading in the future? Okay, write an article answering this question and the best article will be displayed in the English corner. Okay, so nowadays with the rise of te uh, digital technology, physically printed books are slowly being replaced by ebooks. Okay, publishers are able to release their work in digital format. And they can be easily accessed in the internet or online bookstores at the click of a button. With that, it begs the question: How are ebooks much better than printed books, and will they eventually replace them in the future? Okay, 
To begin with, some of the advantages of ebooks over printed books include the fact that they are less hassle to obtain compared to printed books. People do not need to travel to the library or bookstore to get a copy of the book. With a click of a button, you can purchase and download ebooks from any digital platform. Consequently, you will also have access to a wider variety of books from different countries and languages. Okay, other than that, ebooks are also more portable and easy to use as we can access them from our daily electronic devices. You can comfortably use your phone or tablet to store thousands of ebooks as compared to bringing thick and heavy physical books. Thus, you are able to read ebooks anywhere you go with no trouble. Okay, on the contrary, some people still prefer printed books over ebooks. This is because people can retain more information when reading printed books compared to reading ebooks. The physical experience of reading a printed book is also much more enjoyable than reading on an electronic device. Additionally, printed books are also healthier than ebooks, which exposes the eyes to screens for long periods of time. Overexposure to bright screens will cause eye strain and damage your eyesight. Okay, to sum up, both ebooks and printed books have pros and cons. They are both great ways of sharing information and artworks. People are free to choose their options based on their personal preferences and convenience. While ebooks will eventually gain immense popularity, it, I believe printed books will still remain the main form of reading in the future. So, okay, it's mentioned there advantages and why do people still prefer printed books? And you've mentioned also uh, main form in the future. Okay, so this is quite a good essay. Okay, so this definitely will land you around 18 to 20 for this essay. Okay, Rina, I think it's such a great work that you have produced with your group members. Any questions before I move on to the next group? Um, no, teacher. <laughs> No. Thank you, teacher, for all right. the review. And all right. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I think for the next group, can we have um, Renita? Are you ready? Um, yes, teacher. Okay, you may share your screen or you, you, would you need help? Um, I'll try to uh, share the screen first. Okay, share the screen first. Can you see the screen? Okay, whenever you're ready, Renita. Can you see my share screen? Yeah. Um, okay. Um, uh, okay, so sorry for the airline interruption just now. No worries. Uh, I'll continue with uh, part three for paper uh, one. Okay, so uh, for the first question, in paragraph two, where is the best place uh, one can start building self-esteem? So when we read the, the uh, this question, answer for this question is based on uh, paragraph two. So uh, self-esteem is uh, derived from many factors. If a child lives with ridicule, degradation, and insults at home. So um, we can get the answer there which is uh, at home. Okay, moving on to question number 20. Sorry, your answer uh, was, um, I didn't manage to catch it. Okay, A. All right, let's okay. see. Uh, okay, that is correct answer. Okay, uh, okay. continue with uh, question 20. How long does it take to build self-esteem? So for this question, uh, we can see the uh, second uh, sentence. Building a thin self-esteem starts at birth and continues through every facet and milestone on his or her life. So the answer is A, lifetime. 
Okay, uh, the answer is A, correct? That is a correct answer. Okay, moving on to next question. Who can assist children in building their self-esteem? So in this uh, paragraph three, we can see um, parents play an important role in the development of their self-esteem with a little awareness can help their children live happier, healthier life. So uh, the answer is B, parents. Your, your answer for 21 is? Parents, B. B, B for ball. D, D. D, D for donkey, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, correct. That is the correct answer, okay? You can continue. So for question 22, in paragraph 4, why is it crucial to praise children? Okay. Uh, we can see in paragraph 4, children who receive constructive and meaningful uh, praise tend to grow into more confident teenager than those who do not. So the answer is C. The children become more confident teenagers. Correct. That is the correct answer. Okay. Okay, so for question 23, which word has the same meaning as explosive? So, um, for this part, mm -hmm. um, uh, the answer is D, volatile, because reef is more to, um, we can call it as uh, berleluasa. Um, bolster is to, like, uh, strengthening. Uh, tension is stress. So the answer is D. Twenty-three. Your answer is um, D. Okay, that is correct answer. Okay, so for question twenty-four, in paragraph five, when should parents render help their children? Uh, we can see here. Uh, rather, they should encourage encourage them, uh, encourage him or her to solve the problem independently or offer assistance only if it is needed. So the answer is A. When their children need their assistance. Okay, that is correct as well. Um. For 25, from paragraph 7, what is the uh, effect of high self-esteem in teenagers? Teenagers teenagers with high self-esteem believe strongly in themselves. So, uh, the answer is B. Teenagers will strongly believe in them, themselves. Okay, that is also correct. Well done. Your group managed to get all correct for uh, question 19 to 20. Okay, 26, sorry. You still got one. So the last one is from paragraph nine. What does the word "it" in the phrase "it" is when you are at school and you sleep and fall refers to? So um, the word "it" is refers to the self-esteem. The answer is B. Okay, that is correct as well. Well done, all correct. Okay. Teacher for paper two. Okay, let's, let me just uh, share my screen for paper two. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm just trying to uh, get everything in order first. Okay. Um, oh, 
okay. Okay, for paper two, part one. Okay, let me just comment on the... Just find the stuff to comment first. Okay, um, you receive an email from your cousin who wanted to buy a birthday present for your brother. Okay, a birthday present for a brother. Okay, your brother's birthday is next week and I can't decide whether to get him a smartwatch, a wireless handphone, headphone or smartphone. What do you think I should buy for him? Okay, so... Okay, so it's giving you uh, a choice there. Okay, whether you would, you would like to buy a smartwatch, a wireless headphone or a smartphone. Okay. Okay, so no, the, the, with, the kind, with this kind of question, um, this is what we call a close response. Okay, meaning to say that you can only talk about either one of these things. Okay, either one of these things. You can't talk something uh, outside of it because... They are not they are, they are, there is no mention of what do you think I should buy for him? Should I buy something else? And then it will allow you to give the freedom to talk about something else. But in this case, it didn't give you that freedom. It just uh, allow, allows you to talk about smartwatch, a wireless headphone or a smartphone. Okay, so let's look at your response for this one. Okay, to Daniel, subject birthday present for my brother. Okay, it's his 19th birthday, isn't it? For me, among all of them, a smartwatch is the best choice. Okay, a smartwatch is the best choice. Okay, this is your choice. Uh, one, uh, the best choice. One of his wish list since he can't buy for now. So, save up his money for uh, his university. Okay, so this one should be something here. Okay. Um. Moreover, he already has wireless headphones. He just bought a new, and he just bought a new smartphone last month. So I think buying him a smartwatch would be the best choice. Okay. Right. Other than that, he also told me that he wants to buy a smartwatch uh, that can connect to his phone as it is easier for him, for him to connect any data on his to his phone. I recommend you to buy the latest Apple Watch as he is currently using an iPhone. I think he will like it. I hope this is helpful for you to decide on his birthday present. See you at the birthday party. Okay, so um, so compared to the question in Perak, the Perak question just now, this one is quite, uh, it's a bit easier. Uh, but mind you that uh, the SPM is not going to be this straightforward. Okay, if you receive something like this for SPM, consider that it's your luck, your good luck. Uh, normally, when it comes to SPM question, they would ask you, uh, they didn't give you even any other choices. Uh, they would give, uh, they would say uh, it's his birthday. What should you buy? Uh, perhaps where would the birthday be? Or how you're going to plan for the birthday party, for example. So, um, yeah. So, please be uh, mindful that the SPM is not going to be as straightforward as this question. Okay. Um, um, also, there, are, there is a simple explanation here meaning that you need to buy uh, the justification why you need to buy an Apple Watch uh, because he has iPhone, etc. So there is a mention of simple explanation here. Okay. Right. So part two, your class has been con uh, discussing what they use the internet for and your teacher has asked you to write an essay about the importance of the internet to students. So you need to talk about how the internet is important, reasons of your choice, and when you usually use the internet. Okay. So nowadays, the internet has become a massive part of our daily life and it's challenging to assume the world without the internet. First of all, we can say that the internet is very important. Okay, important. Oh, sorry. I forgot to greet you just now, right? For this one. Okay, for this one, it's an easy 2020. Okay. Right. So let's look at this one. Um, uh, first of all, we can say that the internet is very important, not importance in the field of education without the internet the ability to share thoughts and ideas across the students in globe would have been only a dream an example of it could be searching for solutions for a difficult assignments or for the tips of examination in addition we can enjoy to communicate with other students regardless the distance through the applications like email whatsapp and telegram okay now without the internet it would be hard to imagine how large the world would be okay as for me, I use internet for research and gain extra knowledge about topics taught in school. There are many information. 
tips and videos that are related to the topics. This helps me to have a better understanding on that topics. Um, the often time I use the internet is at night when my elder brother is at home so he can help me using the internet for searching some information about my study. In conclusion, the internet is very beneficial to students in all aspects. This is because the internet has become one of the mediums for studying along uh, with 21st century education concepts. Okay, so um, your question talked about all the uh, all the content there. So it's a five. Uh, CA, I would say it's a four because uh, there's some sort of uh, inconsistency throughout the essays. I'm meaning to say sometimes it sounds like it's an factual essay, sometimes it sounds like uh, a bit of um, casual uh, tone. Okay, so uh, if you could be consistent throughout, for example, for this, uh, I know that they, uh, the question asks you to talk about uh, when you usually use the internet. Okay, so this is something that uh, you are going to use your personal experience for. Okay, so I, I know that some of you might think, oh, because this is a personal experience, so you can sound a bit more casual on this one. But a crafty, a competent language user, they know how to change something of a personal into more what we call distance uh, and, you know, sounding a bit more objective. Okay, so you can see that instead of straight away use, uh, as for me, you can change it into something like personally. Okay, personally. Um, Okay, instead of say I use internet for research and get extra knowledge about topics taught in school, you can change it into um, internet uh, is for research, research and knowledge. Okay, internet is for research and knowledge. Uh, and so on, and about topics taught in school. So, uh, you know, if you want to sound like I've already uh, exposed to you with this uh, before this, you can use uh, passive uh, or what we call reported verbs to, um, to some sort of stop you from sounding a bit too direct. And to get that consistency, you need to sound, you know, consistent throughout the essay. So you need to sound a bit uh, objective from the beginning until the end. And then you have organization. Organization is quite uh, okay here. So it's a five. However, the language, it could have been better. So in this case, the score is 18 over 20. Okay. All right, Rita, any question before I move on to part three? Any question, Rita? Uh, no question, teacher. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to move on to the last part, which is a part three. Okay, one second. Okay, now let's look at the question. I uh, recently saw this notice in a magazine. Okay, travel reviews required. Have you traveled anywhere lately? Send us a review of your traveling experience. Say what you enjoyed about the place, okay? So, say what you enjoyed about the place. Would you recommend the place and why? And the best review would be featured in our monthly newsletter. Okay, let's look at this one. Okay, Kuala Terengganu, perfect and picturesque place to go. Okay, this is quite good. Okay, a play of uh, what we call the sound. Perfect and picturesque. So, Again, for a review, don't forget to have the title. Okay. Okay, my traveling experience. Actually, I was just back from a fortnight vacation in Terengganu. Terengganu is the east coast of Malaysia, which has a variety of panoramic places. And it's really worth a visit. Uh, personally, I would say that Terengganu is a beautiful state with a lot of fascinating places to visit. I was engaged in a natural um environment that it was mind-blowing okay i know that what you're trying to say here you mean that you are you are you feel really connected to the natural traditional environment um but i think that you can find better words uh to describe the thing that you are trying to say here okay so perhaps instead of saying i was engaged you can talk about you can use i was um i was immersed 
you know, immerse, immerse means that you are really into the whole thing. You are really uh, enjoying the whole experience and you are really appreciating whatever that the natural traditional environment offers you that. Okay, so instead of English, you can use immersed. Okay, one of the beaches that I visited is known as Batu Buruk Beach. This popular beach is located near to Kuala Terengganu city center and the best place to enjoy your free time with your family as it has lots of entertainment to do. I was lucky when I was there because I was able to watch the traditional performances such as Sila and Sepak Raga. There is also a decorated horse carriage available which will surely delight your family. I also got a chance to eat some mouth-watering food that was sold at the food stalls near the beach. The vivid moment that I cannot forget was the taste of the white, fresh and sweet coconut shake while looking at the sunset view of the side of the beach. Okay. Apart from that, I also shopped around Pasapaya, which is a well-known place in that state. I took a cab to reach there and the driver was so friendly with me. I spent the whole evening hanging around that market to buy some souvenirs for my family and friends. Guess what? I found varieties of aesthetically pleasing hand crops such as party and songke. There were also a lot of appetizing traditional food and local kuih, koropo, ota ota, and nasi dagang in particular. On top of it, I bought a perfectly sculpted wooden vase with, which looked so unique to my eyes. I was as happy as love as I spent only little money to buy all of them as most of the products were sold at a cheap and affordable price. Okay, Terengganu, known as the biggest place where batik is produced. This beautiful pattern cloth um, is becoming popular nowadays. Nur Arfa Craft Complex is one of the biggest batik centers and a must place to go to get to know the batik. When I was there, I got to off, I got offered to, I got an offer. I got an offer to experience to paint my own batik. Although it was my first time painting the batik, it was a wonderful occasion for me. Mm, not an occasion. It was a wonderful uh, experience, okay? As I was also able to see my, uh, to see batik painting demonstrations and handicraft that were demonstrated by the workers. I was impressed with the workers because they fully put their heart and soul into their works to produce attractive and elegant batiks. Uh, moreover, if you are a batik lover, this is the place to buy it. You will be spoiled for choice. To buy the batiks, as there are various exclusive batiks that are sold in the craft complex, which will capture your heart. Even though the batiks there are quite pricey, it really worth to, it is really worth it. It is really worth it to buy them, as all the batiks are handmade and high quality. I recommend Trangano for people who are shopaholics and nature lovers. The place also is the best option for someone who likes to be exposed to new and unfamiliar things. Don't miss it. Okay, let's look at the question again. Okay, have you traveled anywhere lately? It's a review of your traveling experience. Okay, all right. So this one is a five content. Uh, see a there's a hiccups a few here and there. I would say it's a three. Uh, organization. Mm, it's a four. It could have been better. And language. Um, it could have been better. Okay, so in total for part three, you are getting for this one. 15 of 8 plus 8 plus 7, 15. Okay, 15 over 20. Okay, Rita, really before I move on to another group, any question? Um, teacher, for part two, mm -hmm. um, should we uh, should we write um, like a story or a fact? Okay, now part two. Um, Based from the training that's been given to us, the teachers, um, they expect you to write something of a neutral. Neutral means that it should not sound as very casual. It should also not sound very formal. So um, my advice, you should sound like you are presenting a fact, okay? Um, because it's, it's not going to be 100% fact because in one of those prompts that's given to you bullet points, they would ask for your personal experience. So, um, in the spirit or in the effort of becoming more, what we call, um, more uh, consistent, okay, uh, you need to sound um, the same from the beginning until the end. The tone has to sound the same from the beginning of the essay until the end. So, from what I, I have rectified this now with you is that... Um, 
come the personal, uh, come the questions that ask for your experience. Uh, you need to uh, use, uh, like I mentioned just now, passive sentences or reported speech uh, to sort of uh, maintain the neutral tone that you have uh, used from the beginning of the essay until that point. Okay, Renita, did that answer your question? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. All right, any other questions? Mm -hmm. Um, no teacher. Okay. All right, Rita. Thank you for your uh, presentation. Okay. Can we have hi Akif? Hi teacher. Good ah, morning. Okay. Good morning. Uh, can you share your screen? Can you okay, see the... Yeah, I can see your slides. Okay. Okay, whenever you're ready, okay? So, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, today, uh, my group will present to you all about uh, the Kelantan trial. The Kelantan trial and for the question, for the part, for the paper one, we're going to present part three. So, this is the paragraphs. So, the question, the question is for question 19 from paragraph 1, why did Cynthia Phillips call Julia Koch? So, the answer is D. Phillips' granddaughter was having technical difficulties with her online learning. So, the answer is based on text. Um, 1 September afternoon, a few weeks into the school year, she received a call from Cynthia Phillips who was having technical difficulties with her granddaughter's tools for online learning. So this is uh, the answer in the paragraph. Okay, okay, one second. Let me just uh, look at the paragraph one. Okay, let's get paragraph one. Uh, in the midst of COVID-19. Okay, in the midst of COVID-19 pandemic, Julia Koch began what was only her second year as a first grade teacher in a virtual classroom at Edgewood elementary school in Muskegon Heights, Michigan. One September afternoon, a few weeks into the school year, she received a call from Cynthia Phillips, who was having technical difficulties with her granddaughter's tools for online learning. So let's look at the question. One from paragraph one, did Cynthia call Julia Koch? Okay, for 19, the answer is actually C, eh? Akif, uh, Phillips had technical difficulties with her granddaughter, granddaughter's online learning tools. Okay, so D, the answer is um, the granddaughter itself. However, in this case, it's actually Phillips that has the problem with the granddaughter's online learning tools. Okay, Akif? Oh, okay, sure. All right, you can move on to the next one. So, for the next question is... From paragraph 2, how did Koch know something was wrong with Phillips? So the answer is A, Phillips' words were jumbled. So the answer is based on text, her words were so jumbled that Koch could barely understand her, though she was able to make out that Phillips had fallen four times that day. Okay, that is the correct answer. Good. So <clears throat> for the next question, from paragraph 3, what made love lady become worried? So the answer is D. He cared about Philip's young granddaughter's well-being. So the answer is based on text. Um, love lady was able to make out the word kids and immediately became concerned that Philip's two grandchildren, ages six and eight, were probably home alone with her. She, with her, she is the primary guardian and scared. That is the correct answer. Okay. So, for the next question, um, from paragraph 4, the, the phrase visibly shaken can be replaced with, 
uh, the answer is D, distinctly tremble. So the answer based on text, when they pull up less than 10 minutes later, the EMTs were treating Phillips while the two girls looking visibly shaken were outside with a neighbor. Okay, let's let's look at this together. Question number 22, right? Okay, let's look at question 22. Okay, all right. From paragraph four, the phrase visibly shaken um, can be replaced with... <laughs> okay, let's look at paragraph four then. Mm -hmm. Okay, when they pulled out less than 10 minutes later, the EMTs were treating Phillips. Uh, the two girls uh, looking visibly shaken. Okay. Um, okay. Right. Okay. Um, so the answer is actually A. Okay. Uh, because um, in this case, it's not uh physically uh it's not physically what we call though. it's actually you when we say shaken means that you are really affected okay so the answer is actually a okay all right okay if you can move on to the next one okay teacher so for the next question question 23 um from this paragraph four we know that Phillips A could not talk well. The answer is based on text. Thanks to an extended stay in hospital, she has she has regained most, most of the movement throughout her body, except for one hand and a portion of her mouth, which affects her speech. Yeah, correct. That is the correct answer. Good. So for the next question, question 24. For from paragraph four, from paragraph five. Where did the girls spend their day at? The, the answer is B, at boys and girls club. So the answer is based on during the day with at-home learning, school administrators contacted the local boys and girls club where the girls now spend their days as part of the program to help working parents. They return to the host family at night. Correct. That is a correct answer. Good. All right. So, for question 25, from paragraph 6, which statement best describes the benefit of virtual learning in Muskegon Heights? So, the answer is D, the community becomes close to each other. So, the answer is based on uh, virtual learning has has been a challenge across the country, but it's fair to say that in Muskegon Heights, it has helped the community grow closer. Correct. That is a correct answer. Good. So, that's the end of the... That's the end of your part, uh, paper one. Okay. Um... Let me see if I can get access to your paper two. Okay, let me see. Okay, now I need to copy this in the... Okay, uh, I didn't see any part one and part two. May I know where is it, uh, Shaki? Uh, we don't have the part one and part two for Kelantan trial. Oh, only, only part three, eh? Yes, okay. Okay, all right. Let me just uh, get the thing in order first.
Okay, let's see. Okay, a class excursion is, uh, your question is, um, okay, your question is, Okay, uh, your teacher has asked you to write a story for a school newsletter. The story must have the title, Class Excursion. What does excursion mean, um, Aki? Uh, rombongan. Mm, yes, it is a type of tour. Okay, so a description of the excursion, benefits of class excursion and your feelings. Okay, let's look at your answer for this one. Okay, a class excursion is the most awaited activity for students around the world. Once a year, teachers would make. Okay, in this case, you have to write a story. Okay, um, once a year, teachers would make an excursion, especially for students, which just, okay, again, instead of using which, okay, you need to use, it's a bit smaller. So, how do I do this? Okay, bear with me for a bit, bear with. Okay, while waiting, uh, I think I just want to check whether my audience is still with me. Can you share with you uh, with me the experience of the best class excursion that you have ever experienced, rather with Sakti or with your primary school? Please share your answers in the chat section so that I can see how many of you are still with us. Okay, don't forget to share the best excursion that you have ever experienced either with the subject or with your primary school. And tell us why is it the best ex class excursion that you have ever experienced. Okay, again, a little reminder, share with me your best class excursion that you have ever experienced at the Visakti of your primary school in the chat section. And why is it the best excursion? Okay, right. Okay, let's see a few answers coming in. Alia said she went to Pahang together after UPSR. Okay. Tashi said he went to Malacca with my batchmates after UPSR. Adip said we went to Cameroon Highland. Is it Cameroon or Cameroon? Because Cameroon is, is actually in the African continent. Okay, uh, after UPSR, we went to Upside Down House, Upside Down House at Kuala Lumpur. Okay. Right. You keep them coming in uh, while I'm reviewing your friend's essay here. Okay, now, um, let's see. Okay, a class excursion. Okay, a class excursion is the most, okay, is uh, the most, the most awaited activity for students around the world. Once a year, teachers would make an excursion, especially for students it's not make, it's actually organize, would organize. Okay, would organize an excursion, especially for students, which who, okay, who just finished their final examinations such as uh, UPSR and PT3. The best excursion that I've ever been to was after my UPSR examination, it was indeed the best way to end my senior year in primary school. 
I get to spend my time with friends and teachers well before we bring them farewell. Okay, this is a good structure. Okay, my classroom teacher plan three days, two nights, trip to Terengganu. Uh, the fee to join the trip is 200 ringgit, including accommodation and meals throughout our stay there. Okay, my parents drive me to the mm, drove. Okay, don't forget your tensors. Drove me to the school's gate at 4 a.m. in the morning. The bus should take off at 4 to 3 a.m. according to my teacher's plan. As soon as I arrive there, all I can see is my classmate's sleepy face. Um, after less than 10 minutes of waiting, the bus finally came. The driver apologized for the delay and immediately helped us to arrange our luggage. After giving my parents hugs and kisses, I went to into the bus and chose to sit beside the window. Luckily, no one sits beside me. Then the eight hours journey began. The bus stopped a few times for toilet breaks and meal time. Around 2 p.m. we arrived at our homestead and decided to rain down. Okay, this is good. This is a good phrasal verb. Um, our day starts at 6 a.m. We all wake up and perform our prayer together in the living room. Around 7 to 30 a.m. we leave and went to breakfast. My teacher brought us to a famous nasi dagang place. As soon as we arrive there, the stall starts to get packed. No wonder my teacher asked us to leave early in the morning. This teaches me and my friends to always be punctual and have good time management. Even though the stall is just by the road, it's very clean and the nasi dagang is indeed fabulous. Okay, uh, after filling out our empty stomachs, we take off to the next. Again, uh, we took off to the next destination, uh, which is Itajun Chumaro. Okay, again, tenses. Um, to get to the waterfall, we need to hike for about 40 minutes. Even though the track was a little challenging, but we managed to get there safely and safe and sound. Okay, you don't need to soundly, safe and sound. That's all because it's an expression. Okay. Other than the waterfall, there are lots of other activities we did that day, such as horse riding and barbecue. We spent the whole day there since the hospitality was superb and we, we have no need to get down. Around 4 p.m., we started to clean up our picnic sites and decided to pick up the rubbish around the waterfall. We were irritated by how our society could not care less about our natural environment. The cleaning session really taught us, taught, T-A-U-G-H-T, okay? Taught us to be better inhabitants of the earth. After an hour of cleaning, we continued to get down and went back to our homestay. We spent the rest of the evening resting and cleaning ourselves. That night, we went to Chinatown and my teacher allowed us to explore the street on our own. We ended up splitting into four groups and had dinner together while buying souvenirs and snacks along the street. We get to learn about many new cultures that night. The vendors are very friendly and dedicated to telling us the story behind those cultures. By strolling around that night, we got so much new knowledge. Other than that, bonds between my classmates and I got stronger after spending our time together in the land of other people. All too soon, it was time to leave. Our teacher told us to pack our things and make sure we all double check our important belongings before we take the bus. We were sad at first, but every journey has an end. We brought our luggage and helped our school bus driver arrange the luggage. After that, we all boarded the bus with tons of stories to tell our parents. All of us were excited to meet our parents. It was the most unforgettable class excursion I've ever experienced. Okay, now. Um, although this is, um, this is, this is quite a good, uh, this is quite a good essay for part three. Um, this is a story, okay? Uh, you should be writing a story. Yes, you can talk about all your journey and all those things, but then when they expect you to write a story, you still need to have all those, um, you know, the introduction, rising action, climax, falling action, and... A resolution okay what you are giving me here this is almost like a report okay a story need to have like i've mentioned just not all parts of it it need to have it needs to have a climax a dramatic point where you uh experience the turning point of the event uh, uh what we call sim simplistically a drama lah. okay so there's nothing of that sort here okay so this is what I want to highlight with all of you. Um, they say a class ex excursion is actually you trying to tell a story that happens in the class excursion that um, that would actually benefit uh, that would actually answer the question. You did answer the question in this case. Uh, the question expects you to write. Um, just check. Okay. Um, 
you have uh, written all the three points that uh, is expected of you there, without a doubt. But there's no sense of story there. You need to have uh, something very... A class discussion in this case is like a background of your story. So the story could be about perhaps you, perhaps you losing a wallet or perhaps you meeting a very interesting character that you think that um, might be a good addition to your friends or um, some other things. Okay, so in this case, it's not portrayed here. Okay, so that being said, your content, although five, your CA is uh, being brought down up until two. Okay, because this is not exactly a story. You did fulfill all the content uh, that is expected of you, but you did not write a genre, you not, didn't exactly uh, write a genre of story here. Okay, and organization is a tree and language is definitely a tree because of the tenses. So, 7 plus 6 is 13 over 20. Okay, Akif? Yes, teacher. Okay. So, are you clear uh, what you're supposed to do with this kind of question? Let's say if you have this in the future. Are you clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, I am clear. Okay. So, we need to say, uh, yes, you talk about class excursion. But that class excursion is just a background. It's, uh, it's something that's happened in a story that you are about to tell the audience okay all right uh, if there's no any if there's no other question can we move on to the next group uh Akif? yes it's here. all right thank you for your uh contribution all right let's have shafiq hi shafiq we need to do this very quickly hi shafiq uh hello hello okay um, you can share your screen whenever <clears throat> you're ready. Ah, okay. Okay, let's see other answers. After you press R, we went to upside down. Okay, we talked about this. So we went to Cameron Harden after you press R. Went to Thailand. Wow. Oh, wow. Some rich kids. <laughs> uh, me and my classmates went to Cameron Highland. Uh, Legoland after you press R. I haven't been to actually. Um, Okay, whenever you're ready, Shafiq, I can share your... Okay. Okay, whenever you're ready. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today, uh, our group will be presenting uh, our set, which is Terengganu Trial. Uh, so, to sum up, uh, this uh, essay is about um, the ways to strengthen our friendship without relying on social media. So, for question one. Uh, in paragraph one, why does the writer use the phrase out of reach? So the answer uh, for question one is A, you cannot go through them. Yeah, that is correct. So for question two, uh, in paragraph two, uh, what does uh, the writer say about genuine connection with people? So the answer is B, it should be based on real communication. So moving on uh, to question three. In paragraph three, what caused friendship to lose its spark? So the que the answer is C, being occupied with workload. Can you tell me how did you get the answer? Okay. Uh, as stated uh, on the beginning of the um, paragraph, most people, especially in current situation, have been forced to rely on social media to keep... Uh, uh, oh. Sometimes school and other time-consuming things in life can cause friendship to lose the spark they once had in the beginning, uh, in this part. 
Yeah, correct. Very good. Okay. So for question. So for question four. Uh, wait. So for question four, uh, in paragraph four, uh, what are busy schedules acceptable in friendship? So the answer is A, communication is still possible within hectic uh, schedule. Yeah, correct. Okay, move on. So for question five, uh, how can writing be a therapy? So the answer is B, uh, writing provide a form of calmness. Um, so uh, the answer can be seen in this part. Uh, taking the time to write one can relieve stress and so it can be therapeutic. Okay, yeah. Okay, so for question six, uh, why is spending time with friends important? Uh, the answer is D, it brings people closer. Because okay. yeah, the spending one-to-one -one time with a friend can really strengthen your bond. So for question seven, how does the writer feel about having a social media presence in the last paragraph? Uh, the answer is D. We should consider controlling it. Okay. Uh, for the last one, uh, what is the purpose of the writer writing in this article? So the answer is B. To encourage the use social media to find friends. All right. Awesome. All right. I think we can move right. on to paper two. Okay, let's see. I can find your paper too. Okay. Just look at your. Uh, Only part three for you. Uh, uh, it is incomplete in the slide. So I'm. Oh, you need using, to. Uh, okay. I'm using the docs instead. Okay. Uh, the docs. Uh, who has. Uh, is, is it the report? see uh it's it's the one that hi farah hi. uh farah. Uh, yes okay all right let me just let me just share my screen okay okay just Okay. Um, you receive an email from your classmate Farah. Um, hi Johan. Uh, hi Johan's birthday is coming up. Let's get him something. Any ideas for another birthday? Okay. So this is different from the one in I forgot which state. Um, for that state, the, the previous one they talk about uh three gifts that you need to choose and uh why. But this time, uh, this is more of what SPM would normally be. Okay. Uh, any ideas on what we should get in, how much we should spend, and where we can buy it from? So three things. What, how much, and uh, where. Okay. Um, hi, Farah. How are things? I hope you are feeling all right. Actually, I have been thinking about it since last week, and in the end, I've come up with some cool ideas to cheer him up. First things first, I think that getting a PC equipment is the best choice in this case. The reason is that he loves to play video games and Items such as gaming headphones and keyboard would be nice. Other than that, I'm suggesting that we will spend around 200 ringgit in total. Since I don't think it's a good idea to burden our parents by asking for too much money. Worry less, I've done some research about items in Shopee, an online platform that delivers good prices so that it will be within our budget. Once ordered, the items will be delivered to my house and we can prepare to wrap it up for its birthday. I think that's all for now. Do notify us about ideas and feel free to tell me about other alternatives too. Okay. So this is again a solid 2020. You also have um, a quick explanation here about um, Shopee. So yeah, uh, it is a solid 2020 here. Okay. Now let's look at the next one. Report on type of contents preferred by students on YouTube channel. Oh, this is part three. No, part two eh. Oh, part two here. Okay, let's look uh, at part, part two. three first. Uh, before part two, uh, yeah. Okay, all right. Let's look at part two here. Uh, part two is right at the end. Our country was rocked by the COVID nineteen, which is an infectious disease that causes illness ranging from common cold to more severe diseases. 
okay, with a situation like this, we need to obey all the procedures. So the educators came up with the initiative of online classes to conduct teaching and learning sessions for the constitution right now. Okay, the advantage of online learning is that students can search any information easily as they have their own gadget. They can also watch YouTube explaining. They will learn how to use computer to do their school work. This advantage of online learning is that easily distracted. Um, okay. Okay. Again, this is almost 18 to 20 for part two. Okay, uh, the content are being addressed, all of them are being addressed. Um, there are minor minor errors here and there. So it's 18 to 20, definitely. Okay, so part three, a uh, report, report on uh, contents preferred by students on school's YouTube channel. Okay, uh, notice the use of heading here, introduction, okay? It's very good, okay? Introduction, educational programs, entertainment, and reasons why the channel will be popular and conclusion. Okay, so introduction, most popular, focus on the learner, variety of videos can be updated through the channel, the teacher of his subject. Um, okay, students also need entertainment to release stress caused by studying for hours. School's drama club can produce any short films. Okay. Wow, this is also a good piece of work. Okay, again, this is can easily be 19 to 20, but I know this is a group work. It's going to be a different story if it's this individual work. But nevertheless, you put in great effort and I think I should commend you for that. Okay, I think that's all. Shafiq, any, ans any answers? Any questions? Um, no, <laughs> I don't think so. All right, okay. All right, thank you, Shafiq, for your contribution. I think I need to move on to Adib. Hi, Adib. Very quickly, Adib, we have 10 minutes. Oh, nine minutes. Okay, Chief. Okay. Have uh, you already shared your screen? Can everyone see? Yes, I can see your slides. Okay, so today our group will present SMKA JB Trial uh, for paper one, part three. This is the paragraph. And for the first question, uh, in paragraph two, why does the writer use the phrase it would not be a small sum anymore? The answer is B. He expected many people to contribute to the fund. Uh, we can see on this paragraph. If a per, if uh, every person donate one ringgit, that amount would go and go to a point where it would not be a small sum anymore. Very good. Okay. And for the second question. In paragraph three, what was the writer's plan? The answer is he wanted to do something for the community while making some money. Okay, we can see on this. Basically, I had been reading up on social enterprise and how combining charity with a business idea would not only make money, but be able to solve certain social problems that would benefit society. Okay, for question 21, in paragraph 4, why was the writer concerned about his father's response? Because the answer is C, his father would not be easy to convince. Uh, the, 
the background is I wish myself luck because my dad was a chartered accountant and he was the most likely to ask questions and try to break my case. This shows his father is not easily to uh, approach. And the next one. In, in paragraph five, how did the writer start to explain his project? Uh, the answer is D. He described the environmental issue that their community was facing. So the answer is uh, paragraph five. And this one, uh, I had noticed that the drains around the neighborhood were always clogged. Yeah, that is the correct answer. Okay, for the next one. Why did the writer ask his parents to guess his solution? Uh, the answer is D. He encouraged them to think of solutions on their own before explaining his idea. Uh, the uh, paragraph is, I then asked my parents to think of a cheap but very effective solution. Correct. Very. That is true. So the next one is... Uh, 24, why was the writer's father supportive the idea? The, the answer is C. He thought the proposed solution was good and cost-effective. Okay, correct. So the question 35, why was the writer surprised about the amount collected? The answer is B. People were more generous than he expected. You can see on this uh, uh, this line. The total amount surprised me because so many people gave more than the one ringgit minimum. Okay, all right, that's correct. Okay, and the last one is 36. What is the purpose of the write, writer writing this article? So the answer is to share his experience starting a social enterprise. Correct. That is correct. Okay, I need you to read the essays for me because I didn't get a copy of your work. You need to read the essays for me and then I'll point out anything that is worth mentioning. Okay. okay. So, for the essay part one, the, answer, uh, the question is, since the movement control order to COVID-19 pandemic is over, my family are planning to visit Malaysia end of this year. I heard that there are many interesting island resorts in your country. Can you suggest an island resort we could go during the holiday? And what the attractions there and what can we do there? Okay. Here's the answer. Okay, Hi, Natalie. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, not a problem. 20 lah, definitely 20. Okay, thank you. Okay, part two. And in the part two, the question is, your class has been talking about teen health and your teacher has asked you to write an essay about how teenagers can maintain good health. In your mm -hmm. essay, you should write about ways teenagers can stay healthy, who can help teenagers with regards to their health and the effect of unhealthy lifestyle. So, this for the essay. Okay, next, next slide. Okay, this is also a solid 19 or 20, definitely. Not a solid lah, but between the two. Okay, thank you, sir. And okay. the last one Sorry. is essay part three. Okay. The question is, uh, we must write a story and Adam couldn't wait to meet his friends at the mall. The story must include an unexpected event and the lessons learned. So this is our story. Okay. 
Okay, next slide. Okay, all right. Okay, um, uh, this one is quite straightforward. It's good, but um, it could have been more descriptive. Um, mm. You know, like how the whole thing went down, like how you should uh, perhaps uh, talk in detail, like the whole, uh, what we call, adrenaline rushed uh, incident, can. So mm -hmm. if you could have that, uh, your essay could get up until 18 to 20. But for now, it's between 15 to 16. Okay, I think. Okay, take it safe. Okay. All right. I think that's all for that with the time that we have for today's class. Um, don't leave just yet <laughs> uh, because I need to take attendance. So what I want you to do now is that um, in the once the broadcast is done, uh, you need to write on the chat section because um, because the last topic that we have is quite fun actually unexpected event okay so I need you to write for me one unexpected event in a very descriptive manner like a show sentence not a tell sentence in the comment section and then I will count your attendance based on that Okay. Um, should there no should there be no questions? I think that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you for listening to me, even though it's a holiday. And I'll see you perhaps inshallah in the week after. <laughs> okay. Thank you and bye everyone. <laughs>